I'm just a young black man trying to make it in America. Have you ever said that? I'm just a young black man trying to make it. First off, I got I want to know why would you say what's the purpose of mentioning black in that statement? Why can't you just say I'm just trying to make it? Why specify young or black or any of that? Why why not just say I'm just trying to make it or better yet? Why not just say I'm going to make it, period, and say, take the try out, too, while you're at it? Because I want to dissect this thing for a minute. First off, I feel like if you mention the word black, if you feel like you need to... That's telling me to put my seatbelt on. I guess I should. If, they, if you mention black, that kind of tells me that, okay, you're trying to point out the fact that you have a handicap or you feel like you got some type of handicap that's holding you back. Uh, from being successful and it's harder for you than others. First off, I'm going to go ahead and point out it, nine times out of ten it is harder for a black man to make it. I don't, as far as in America, I've never been outside of the country yet so I don't know about anywhere else. But here, the truth of the matter is it is. The odds kind of are against us. But, no excuses though. Don't even mention it. Don't mention it at all. Why mention it? So, now that we established that, yeah, that might be true, let's also establish that we don't care. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who really cares, really? I don't care about that. Don't tell me the odds. Because if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it regardless. So next time, just say, just take the black out. Take the young out. Because for now, if you say you're young, what is that saying? Oh, just because you're young, you're at a disadvantage? No. No, you got the willpower, you smart enough, you figure it out. If you if you want to do it, do it. And then to try. Don't try, just do it. It's simple as that. Don't try to make it. Make it. That's why a lot of people will tell me they want to be this or they want to be that. And I don't say anything to them. I just simply say, if you want it bad enough, you get it, you figure it out. I don't say no more than that. I used to try to tell people what they should do, what they like in that, what they need more. Ah, oh, it's a waste of time. If they want it bad enough, they'll figure it out. If you ask me for specific advice, I give you that. But nine times out of ten, you'll figure it out. Because that's how I figured out most of all of the stuff that I knew. I wanted to know bad enough, so I went in my research and I figured it out. Even if it means just simply asking somebody who might know already. Then that's figuring it out. But what you can't do is sit there and think somebody else going to do all the research for you. Or give you every single thing that you need. No, you go to multiple sources. You go to that person, then you look up in a book, then you look up on the internet, then you ask another person, and then you might even look at some YouTube or something. And you put it all together and you come to a conclusion because your conclusion is the best. You smart. You got the brain power. You figure it out. But don't sit there and try to say, I'm just a young black man trying to make it because it's. I, it, it just don't make sense to me to say it. Just say, I'm going to make it. Period. And then make it. Don't talk about it all day either. I, I, mean, I used to like talking about business. I used to love to talk business, right? I used to like sitting in a restaurant, uh, toast, champagne, let's talk business. I hate talking business now. <laughs> because after too many sentences go by and we talking about what we're going, I'm ready to go do it. I don't want to talk no more. Let's get it done, Okay. So you gonna do this, you gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, bam, let's go do it. I don't wanna sit there and talk a whole lot no more. And I see a lot of guys that I was growing coming up with, and I thought we had a lot in common because we used to like to talk business and we thought uh similar in similar uh aspects or whatever. But when it came down to it, I progressed and they didn't. And they still wanna talk business all the time. I don't wanna talk business. I I wanna do business now. You know, so let's be doers and not thinkers. And one last thing while we at it. Just do it. I was going to make this a separate video, but it's so simple, it's easy. It's like, sometimes you just got to do stuff. I got this from uh, Robert Kiyosaki uh, in his book called, uh, Reti no, Before You Quit Your Job. I was listening to that because I was contemplating, don't just go ahead and quit my job. I'll get back on that on a later uh, video. But, uh, and he says that Henry Ford said a statement similar to like I'm happy that people are willing to buy my product before it's perfected so think about this for a minute when you bought you go buy a Ford Explorer it's not perfect but it's a good running car good running SUV Chevy connoisseurs might think otherwise but either way 
Uh, then you had the Model A. When he first started, you had the Model A, Model T, and all of that, right? Now, how far advanced has the Ford Explorer surpassed the Model A and the Model T? It's tremendous, right? So the point is this. It don't got to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make something happen. Sometimes you just got to go with what you know and make it happen. Stop waiting and waiting and waiting on, I got to wait till I get the right amount of money till it's perfect. Or I got to make sure I get the perfect drawn out 60 page business plan or wait till everybody's on board that I want to be a part of it. No, what do you, stop waiting, just get it done. Get it done. Sometimes you just got to do it. And then once you get out there, you either going to sink or swim. But even if you sink, guess what? Now you know what it feel like and you know what not to do. So you can start over and get back up and do it again. As simple as that. And I'm, and I'm not saying don't go research and don't do your due diligence. But sometimes you just got to know when to cut it off and say, all right, let's go, let's go make something happen. Let's try it now. All right? So that's my point for today. I appreciate y'all so much for uh, watching my videos. I, I truly do. Y'all guys keep me going. Y'all contribute to my motivation every day. And uh, I appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Thanks for liking.